Hey everyone. So over the years, there's been an ongoing argument on the VIC and, and how it works. A lot of people have said, well, Stan was telling the truth when he said uh, it's a step charging pulse train across the water fuel cell, charges it to a high static or DC voltage. I think that's incorrect. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the possibility that the VIC has to actually produce an AC waveform across the water fuel cell. So here's one of Stan's early diagrams showing the step charging effect. And here's one of my early waveforms getting step charging across the water fuel cell. Many of us have seen this waveform. It's a little difficult to get, but there's very little gas production, if any. So how does a VIC produce an AC waveform across the water fuel cell? First off, simple diagram of Stan Meyer's VIC, one of his later VICs. Notice that all coils are on the same core. And here we have further confirmation, actual VIC of Stan Meyer's. All coils, once again, on the same core. So here's the waveform I've been seeing across the water fuel cell for probably about five or six years now. Other people have shown a very similar waveform, people that have claimed to have successful replications. So first off, notice that it is an AC waveform, but also you have a charge and a discharge curve there. That's the charge and discharge curve of the water fuel cell, the RC uh, time constants, if you will. Now going back to this diagram, this is one reason why so many people have said it can't be an AC circuit. you got a diode right here. How can you have AC with a diode? In my opinion, this is the way we need to look at the VIC. The diode actually isolates the primary and secondary coils from the chokes in the water fuel cell. So now, when current flows through this circuit, it charges up the chokes, and then the circuit turns off, the magnetic field of the chokes collapses. Now, it wants to flow this way, but the diode prevents it. So, instead, it takes the only path it has through the coupling of the chokes, and it essentially just reverses the polarity across the water fuel cell. Now, notice, now here we have what's called a circulating current. Now, that is a term used in parallel resonant circuits. This circuit is essentially in parallel with the secondary coil. And what that means is that at resonance, if you've studied parallel LC circuits, you know that at resonance, the impedance is nearly infinite. So it'll pull very little current from the secondary coil and from your source. Now let's look at a bigger picture. So if you really see resonance across your water fuel cell, the waveform, in my opinion, should look something like this. Notice on the top in red, you've got your 1 through 5 time constants for your charge time and your 1 through 5 charge uh, discharge time constants. So it's almost an AC circuit with a DC component in the way that it charges the water fuel cell. But you can see as well the resonant pulse train below and the gate pulse that controls it. And I think that's about it. So once again, you can have AC in a circuit with a diode in it if you've got coupled chokes. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.